Hello friends, welcome to part 4 of video series on solar PV, a modeling and MATLAB assembling. This part is going to be the last part of this series and after doing this part, uh, you will be able to uh, model your solar PV panel. Uh, so till now I have shown you how to implement equation 1, 2, 3 in Simling and in this part I am going to show you how to implement equation number 4. And to implement equation number 4 I will use uh, MATLAB blocks like uh, MUX and uh, function uh, because uh, this equation is long one and if you are going to implement uh, using a basic building block like multiplier, divider, subtractor it will take uh, time. Uh, so now we can start let's go to Simling model. So here you are seeing a four subsystem which we have created uh, during last three part. And uh, subsystem one is converts your temperature from Celsius to Kelvin. Subsystem uh, two calculates IRR. Subsystem three calculates ID, and subsystem four calculates IPV. Uh, so from uh, here you can we can move. So here uh, is equation number 4 I have divided uh, into various inputs like u1, u2, u3, u4 and u5 so step by step I am going to implement all these inputs uh, to get the I0 so first uh, I am going to implement uh, u3 which is uh, q divided by ns into a k t a k so go to symlink library take one divide block So as you have one numerator and four variables in denominator. So let's add four dividers. So add Q in multiplier in uh, numerator and uh, NS A K T A K in denominator. So here is your A. So now you have created uh, U3. Uh, let's go uh, to create U1 and U2. So U1 is NP into IPV and U2 is NP into ID. So add uh, one uh, NP block. So the value of NP is 1. Add one product block. So first is your NPV into IPV. So now you have u1, u2, u3 and let's go and create u4. So u4 is V0 which is the output voltage terminal of solar PV panel. So if you see this slide here I am showing IV and PV curve of solar PV module. So you can see that uh, your VPV is varying from 0 volt up to your open circuit voltage. So the PV panel panel parameters table if you see uh, VOC is your 21.8 so what you need to do basically is you have to vary your uh, output voltage uh, v, v0 from 0 to up to your open circuit voltage and you have to calculate I0 so go back uh, to your simulate model so uh, now go to simulate library go in sources you see that there is a repetitive sequence add it so 
let's rename it with b not this is your np into ipv this is np into id so i am doing this because so that we don't have any confusion in later part of this video so this is q divided by ns a k t a k you just double click on this v not block so i am not going to create a one triangle wave so this in time value right 0 10 0 0 10 you can write 20 and this right here is 0 to 21.8 which is your open circuit voltage and then back to 0 so now uh, u4 is created so to create u5 you need uh, i0 into iris rs rs is your equivalent series resistance of solar pv module so just add one gain block the value of rs is 0.45 So to implement uh, this equation, you need one uh, MATLAB function block in which uh, I will write this equation. Uh, just go to user defined function at FCN block. Just double click over your FCN block. Now you need to write this equation uh, in your function block. So let's go and write it. Uh, just add one mux block to provide this input to the function block. Right here mux and search. So as you have four inputs sorry five inputs double click uh, over max block and made uh, number of inputs to five so input one is np into ipv input two is np into id input three is q divided by ns atak input four is v naught and input five is your i i not into rs so the output of function block is i not so just multiply it with rs and give it give it as an input 5 so your equation 5 is ready now And uh, now you can uh, use uh, one uh, XY graph to see IV and PV curves. So just go to MATLAB, symbol library. 
add xy scope or graph so you will need two graph to see pv and iv let's make it pv and this one is iv so to get a power of pv module you have to multiply your v not and i not so you will need one product block uh, first let's create a subsystem for equation number 4 So add one output block. So the output of function block is I naught. So to get power you have to multiply i naught into v naught so in x y graph block uh, the upper port is your x and the lower port is y so just connect to v naught uh, so now just double click on pv graph so your x min is 0 uh, so voc is 21.8 so i'm making x max x 22 let make uh, so your maximum power is 50 volt let's make y max s 60 similarly click on your iv graph do the required changes so your i max uh, current is around 3.11 so let's make it 3.5 So now your model is ready. Uh, now you can run the simulation to see IV and PV curves. Uh, let's run it. Let us run it. So here you can see your PV graph and IV graph. If you see PV graph, uh, your voltage is varying from 0 to 21.8 volt and your maximum power is, uh, is around 50 volt. You can see. And uh, this is your IV graph. You can see uh, your short circuit current is around 3.11 and your open circuit voltage is around 21.8 volt. So and here I am showing IV and PV curve for different solar uh, irradiation. Like uh, I am varying S from 1000 to 800 to 600. You can also generate similar kind of plot uh, in your model by varying S. So if you want to vary S, yes, uh, you will require one signal build builder block. Just add it. So double click over it. Go to axis and uh, set uh, change time range. So you can make it as 30. So as your V0 is varying from 0 to 10, uh, I'm making S as, let's make 1 for 0 to 10 and after that set 0 0.8 from 10 to 20 and uh, you can set 0 0.6 from 20 to 30. Save it. Now uh, you can you have to replace this uh, as constant block with gain. Just add one gain block.
make gain is equal to 1000. Add the input of gain to signal builder and output to S. So as you have a time varying from 0 to 30, make your simulation time to 30. Uh, so now just run the simulation to see IV and PV curve. So here you can see your IV and PV curve for different uh, solar irradiation. Uh, so your 50 watt curve is uh, when S is 1000 and it is coming uh, down with your decrease in solar irradiation. And uh, in IV PV curve you can also see that your short circuit current is coming down as you are decreasing your solar irradiation. Uh, so this is the end of uh, this series and I hope that uh, this video series will help you in modeling your own solar PV module. So guys we are providing this solar PV model at $80. If you are interested you can uh, contact us uh, either through our Facebook page which is triple helper or you can write us uh, uh, to our email id which is one triple e point at gmail.com. Uh, we are active both on these. And once again, thanks for watching uh, this video. Uh, we will meet soon uh, with another video series.